Oh, yes, fun, fun stuff. Oh, <gasps> there, I like and there you are. I've been looking for you. What you up to? Well, I see you're, you're enjoying the tradition of decorating, I guess. Oh, yes, dog loves to decorate, but I'm not really sure what a tradition is. What is a tradition? Well, Baron, tradition is something that's passed down from others, like our parents, and they got it from their grandparents, we got it from our great-grandparents, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. That sounds like a lot of stuff. Why are these traditions so important? Well, you know, Baron, you've been decorating for Christmas and getting ready. Oh, yes. Did you learn that from somebody? Do I look like I needed to learn this from somebody? Well, I mean, did you do that with someone? Like, did you participate as a family, as a community, in, in this tradition? Well, of decorating. Yes, actually, I learned from Uncle Duke and Mama and Papa. They've done this stuff with me for a long time, and Dog has a good time with it. Well, Baron, since you learned it from your parents and your grandparents, that's a family tradition. Because, you know, it's been passed down for many generations. Oh, okay. I understand that. Well, and did you also know, just like we have family traditions, the church has traditions. They're called Christian traditions. Is shredding part of the church traditions? I like to shred stuff. Well, I don't think shredding is part of the Christian tradition, although you do seem to enjoy it. Christian traditions are things like reading scripture, singing songs to God, a prayer. In Christmas time, or, or when we prepare for Christmas time, we light the Advent wreath as a tradition, and then we read the Christmas story on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Wow, the church really has a lot of great traditions. But when did you pick up these traditions? Did my mama and papa teach them to you? No, these traditions are from long, long ago. But even still, they have been passed down onto us. And our mammals and papals and aunts and uncles and parents and all those kinds of people can still teach them to us. Are these just random people teaching you stuff or are they special? No, they're leaders in the church. You know, we have leaders in our church now like Ed and Donna, uh, Miss Leona and George and a host of others like our pastors and, and lay people. Ooh, do they like to shred stuff too? <laughs> no, again, I'm not really sure that this counts as a Christian tradition. But you know what my favorite Christian tradition is, what's, especially during Christmas time? What's that? It's reading the Christmas story. Oh, oh, dog loves to read. Do you? Would you like to hear the Christmas story right now? Yes, let's go read. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yes, let's go. We'll go get the Bible. Come on, let's read the Christmas story. Oh, yes. Come read to dog. Dog loves for people to read to him. All right. Baron, let's hear the word of the Lord from Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 7. And Mary brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which should be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And then suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. And the shepherds said unto one another, Let us now go into Bethlehem and see the thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Oh, Pastor Amanda, that's a beautiful story. I wish I could have been there. Well, you know, Baron, that reminds me of another Christian tradition we have during Christmas. It's the Nativity Play, where we tell the story of Jesus, but we also get dressed up and we participate like we were part of the story. Oh. I really think I would like to do that. Yeah, well, you know, I'm about to go do that right now. I've got to get costumes ready and, and get everyone herded together, kind of like the shepherds herd their sheep. You know what? I bet you would make a great sheepdog. What do you think? Oh, I think that would be fun. All right, well, let's go. Let's be part of the nativity story. All right, let's go.
Is this how dog decorates? This is how you decorate? Well, you know, Baron, you've been decorating for Christmas and getting everything looking so lovely. Oh, yes. Uh, 